guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle with Damn Fancy Creations. I hope that everybody had a very Merry Christmas and your new year is starting out really good. Let's hope that 2021 is better than 2020 was. So today I'm going to show y'all a technique that I've used for a few cups. Um, I've had several people ask how I do this, but it is a lot easier to actually do a video on it versus trying to type up all these different steps. Um, especially if you have a Cricut versus a Cameo, then the words are going to be a little bit different, but you can do this on both softwares. Um, it's basically a glitter peekaboo for the font and a vinyl offset for the outline. So that way your font or your text is going to be glitter and the vinyl is going to be outlining all of these words. Um, it can get a little tedious when you're trying to match up the vinyl onto the cup where the glitter is, but the end result is really pretty. Um, I really like doing this for certain cups, not all of them because that would be way too much work. <laughs> But if you are ready to see how I do this technique, let's get started. So while we are making this vinyl image, you want to go ahead and get a cup glittered and epoxied so it's ready for this vinyl to be applied. And this is basically what we're going to be making. You can see that there is font typed out and then the black is basically an outline of that font. So she also wants her name done in this same technique. So I am going to go ahead and type out her name, which is Lisa. And I am going to change the font to Nobita. This is the selection that she made. And go ahead and size it to the size that you want. And I'm going to change the outline to black. And you guys can see that there are these little pieces where the letters connect together. And we don't want that when we cut out this vinyl. So we want to go to modify and weld. That way it basically changes the text into an image. So there's no weird little pieces that are going to be cut out of your vinyl. And the next thing that we are going to do is go to the offset panel, which is this little star with an outline. And we hit offset. And I like to change my offset color to black or to another contrasting color just so I can see it better. And I don't want it quite this thick, so I am going to come over here and lower the size a little bit because we just want a thin gold outline of the font. And once you get it to the size that you want, go ahead and hit apply. And now you can see we have the offset and the font, but we don't want just the offset. We basically want to cut the words out of the offset. So we are going to select everything and come over to the modify panel and scroll and hit divide. And then when we move our font, you can see that it just leaves the outline that the offset created. So since we still need both parts of these, I am going to go back where Lisa is still formed together and I'm going to select all the little pieces to that word and group them together. So now we have both of our parts. So 
I obviously use a Silhouette Cameo to do this. If you have a Cricut, you can also do these same steps, but you will need a different program to make these images as Cricut does not have the offset feature. You can also download the um, Silhouette software, do this exact same thing, save it as an SVG, and then upload it into your Cricut machine. I know a lot of people also use Inkscape to do this, so there are several different ways to do this if you have a Cricut and not a Cameo. So I have gone ahead and cut out both of these files. So these black letters are basically just a font like you would apply it on every other cup. And then the gold letters are going to be our outline. So this cup has been glittered and epoxied a few times. I tried to epoxy and get it as smooth as possible. I don't want a whole lot of sanding because I will spray paint this and do like a distressed geode um, technique. And if you sand too much, then spray paint can get stuck in the crevices that the sanding creates. So I am going to go ahead and line up the lines on my transfer tape with the font so it is good and straight. And we are going to apply this to the cup. I typically apply all my vinyl with my cups in my lap, but since I'm trying to film this for you guys, I am just going to throw a rag up here just to support the cup and it's not going to be rolling all over my desk. So I usually use the lines of the transfer tape and line up the top line with the rim of the cup so I can make sure that the image or the text is going to be straight. And you're going to smooth it on really good. We don't want any spray paint to bleed in between the vinyl and the cup, so make sure it's pressed down really well. And then I'm going to add her name to the opposite side of the cup. So same thing, just get your little spatula smooth on the transfer tape. And I'm just doing it right on the opposite side of the other text. And once we have this on, we are ready to spray paint our cup. So once your spray paint is good and dry, we are going to peel off all of this vinyl. I use this little clay tool that I have had for years. Um, if you guys watch a lot of my lives or videos, y'all know I use this thing for so many different things. One end is really pointy and sharp and the other is like a little mini spatula. So I just basically put the pointy part under the vinyl just to lift it a little bit. You guys can use a needle or something else that y'all like to use, but you just wanna make sure that all of that vinyl is off of your tumbler.
Once we have all of the vinyl off of our tumbler, we are ready to apply the gold outline or offset. And this part is best done in sections. If you have huge groups of text, it can be a little bit hard to match it up really well. So the first word that I'm doing is Lisa. It's probably the smallest one that I have on the Tumblr, so I like to start with the easier ones first. And you're basically just going to do the same thing. You're going to pick up the offset with your transfer tape. And I like to start with the first letter and just really kind of line up the cup to the glitter. And get it as straight as possible. And I press down the first letter and then slowly match up the rest of the letters until it is lined up as best as I can get them. If you can't get it 100% exactly matched up and you still have a little bit of paint showing, um, I will definitely show you guys a little trick that I learned to get rid of that paint in between the offset. And I don't like to press it down really firmly at first, just in case I need to go back and adjust something. I can kind of move around one little letter if I need to. But this is what it will look like. So now for the larger text. <laughs> and still you guys can see that my text is kind of broken up. Um, I kind of do that on purpose because I don't want to pick up the entire image because it won't match up as well as I would like it to. So I start with one or two words and um, match them up one at a time. So I am going to start with the life is, and I press down the first word. Peel up the transfer tape and then press down the second word. It is much easier if you work in smaller sections. And next I'm doing the strawberries. And this is sped up really quickly. So you guys can tell that it does take a little bit more time to do this than like a regular offset or regular font on a tumbler. But I really, really do like the effect that it gives. It's really cool. And again, we are just matching up the vinyl as best we can. Sometimes based on the curve of the tumbler, it's a little difficult to, you know, match up the offset to the um, glitter font that is already on there. So after we get all the words on there, we are going to go back and really look at all of the words to make sure we don't need to remove any paint. But if you do, this is a trick that I do. I just get a little bit of acetone and some Q-tips and I just barely get my Q-tip damp and go in and remove some of this paint that may be in between the lines just because, you know, it you can't always get it as perfect as you would like, but this way is a really easy way just to get rid of that paint that is in between there. So I just take my Q-tip and kind of go in between the vinyl just to make sure everything is really cleaned up and looks really nice before we epoxy it. 
Next, I will distress the cup with acetone and alcohol to allow some glitter to peek through the paint, and I will add some drips. I will link my drip tutorial and my ice cream scoop tutorial in case you guys wanna check that out. And thank you guys so much for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe.